There we go. All right. Make sure that everything is set up. It's not on this view, although it might be now. Let's see. God damn it, no, it's not. Edit stream info. <sighs> That's annoying. Hi, Bokeg. I'm just getting things set up since it didn't want to work correctly. There we go. <clears throat> Yonder! Hi! I hope you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. All right, that should be better. Give me two seconds. to put it on low settings and everything because excuse me because my graphics card is not allowing me to have a consistent 60-ish frames I wish that was at least subtitled, because I can't read that. But that's because I'm terrible at trying to read cursive, so... <laughs> Says he's dying, Dutch. 
We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather is this May. Is this Trail? I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old mine in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Chapter One, Coulter. Bring him in here. Now I am playing on this on uh, keyboard and mouse. I don't know if it would be better on controller or not. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was. Nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you. I'm moment. familiar with controllers, just not now we've the, had, like, well, aiming and shooting stuff on controller. My aim is much better I on loved uh, mouse Davey. and keyboard. Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I do it. Right, okay. Gladly. But we are gonna ride out and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be we're gonna be long gone. I have a controller, Bokeg. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few that, days. Though. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come Should on, be Arthur. Familiar with the controller, with the controller All right. scheme, right? We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. But what really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? <coughs> oh yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need right. you strong. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Ain't sure what we're going to find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Ah. Re 
bridge coming up. Take it easy. A little low compared to the game. All right. Um, do 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 settings. That's what I was wondering. Um, audio sound that should be a little bit better. Right. right let me, me know son. if that's better. Don't want to lose you. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He is the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about You've been saying that like seven mess. times uh, in the last three, days, five minutes. We'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. Yeah, that's a start. <laughs> And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Dun, you dun, up dun, ahead. Dun. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too Speaking of which, um... There we go. My headset also doesn't show Matt, up Davey was while a real playing fire. this game. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey. Have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Coming through. Go on. <laughs> You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, <laughs> it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but it's shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? <laughs> Not far. Thanks. <laughs> oh, goddamn, this snow gets right to the bone. Man, I would hate to be out in something like this for way too, you know, for even a little bit okay let's keep it down now gentlemen it's just up ahead snuff and stash those lanterns boys 
Best you two lie low on this. Okay. No worries, show. Let's head down there. Yeah. Hitch up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, wow. get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Uh -huh. Not the one I think they're talking Parker, about. Get in position. Come on. Fucking well, excuse me. I said get out of sight. I'm trying, man. That better? No, is this So then, where did they want me to go? Did they just want me to go here? Yes. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well. What you want? I am very sorry. To disturb you, uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur, Fuck. On the trail. Arthur we got a problem. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur, need some There's a body in the wagon. Uh, I hear you, just... Gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Trisco boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. 
Grab as many supplies as you can. Jack! We need the essential Hi! Food, medicine. Hey. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Uh, for the three, uh, 33 months in a row. I appreciate that. Don't play takes a bit of getting used to I since you need to cock it. Cock must guns are pretty right. shut. Oh, that's Maybe weird. But I suppose There's that makes sense given the... Nearly as big as the one on your. The time frame and time period that this was in. Me and Uncle Sam agree on. Uh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Uh. Yes, you did, Chef. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want uh, to split up. The fucking graphics of the interiors are gross on uh, performance settings. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw it. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Mike have found a dead body in the wagon outside. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. best. Hmm. Poor bastard was married to. <laughs> you can't even fucking tell. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's so bad. We got some money. Not much, but we got some money. <laughs> um <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on. I could just say help. Come on, Arthur. Get a move on. I'm trying, buddy. Just give me a minute. Health cure. Let's shut the fuck up. We talking? <laughs> I wonder what happens if you don't actually, um... If you don't actually, like, look at the place and you just leave without raiding it. If you have, like, a... Oh, uh, what's the word? Um, repercussions. Try the bouncing around. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure.
Investigate the barn. All right. This is the one that's connected for whatever reason. What's going on? Now this guy just jumped me. Oh, oh, did he now? Stinky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Comb is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Please. Please spare me. Get the hell out of here. Go. Oh, wait. Pick up the gun. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Pick up hat. anyway that looks like a decent horse you should keep him you need to hitch him he's already skittish nice one chill Okay, we mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on, it'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> you okay, miss? They came. Hang on. I'm gonna go into the settings and go to the graphics. Because it's starting to piss me off having it be that low. Alright, apply changes. Yes. Three days ago, then my husband, they. <laughs> Miss, you are safe If now. I lower the resolution, it screws up on yes, my monitor. Yeah. It has to be the aspect ratio. Or not the aspect Come ratio, sorry. Sure. It has to be the resolution of my monitor, yes. or it's okay. it looks very strange to me. Bad man. I don't like it. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. 
Well, keep you safe. I shouldn't like the fact that it was such low do. quality. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. You're not on console, yeah. Home O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? <clears throat> get yourself to bed. <laughs> Fucking oof. <laughs> God, that's bright. Ow. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur. <laughs> Mike is How you doing? <laughs> oh, fuck. Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he'd look for me. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know... He kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Two hours ago, most. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? 
You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Speaking of... Um... Like when we hear all that snow blindness, right? Is by them now, selecting now. Yes, uh, some of my defies would not be until restarted. Uh, trying to charge my phone took about 10 minutes. Uh, of cable. Charged for 38 hours now. It's something at least. Do a phone repair on Saturday to get it checked out. The charge is busted, and it annoys me. I wish I went with a phone wireless charging. Then I could charge it in my car. Ah. Huh. Yeah, a lot of those require a lot of soldering, so it's not fun to do. No matter what, wireless charging is great, but you have to get the, um, you have to get a case compatible with it, usually. I think I'm going to quit the game and restart it so that the settings will actually take, um, hold. With wireless charging capabilities yeah <clears throat> some um some phones like a lot of the newer phones do i think mine has the possibility of doing it but i never really worried about it and an audio jack <laughs> yeah mine's got an audio jack i just obviously don't use it Is 
a chat phone user since I has an audio jack. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, um, there's definitely something in the works in the form of merch that, uh, I'm creating a website for, or, well, <coughs> rather, um, creating my own store on this website. Yes, merch. He ain't been seen in days. All right. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. I like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Bra coming soon. So far, it's just shirts. Uh, it's t shirts, sweaters, and pullover hoodies. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, any hats? Uh, the website that I'm using doesn't have any of that currently. Recently. I don't know if it's something that I have to add in, that way. but so You're far welcome. it's Come just uh, t-shirts, shirts, some tracks leading to the river. Um, Whoa. long sleeves, and uh, pullovers. Yeah. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. Oh, wrong button. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were as bad as 38 hours? Nice. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way, but it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Tracks go left, down here. Davey got shot, Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Soon, TM. Oh, my God. <laughs> Watch yourself. It's not very wide here. Fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. We, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there. Come on. These are the real heroes here.
Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? The fuck? You stored weapons. Ah, there we go. Down Got this it. Way. Yeah, that's right, trigger, not bumpers. Watch out here. You sure about this? It's coming from this way. Okay. And yet that we're high up here. You're telling me. Careful. There's a drop here. that I didn't know about that. It was more that um, I was hitting the wrong button rather than because I'm okay, not used here. to RT versus RB. So watch your step. Real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Gap here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! Dang, it's cold. So it was your fault my help wasn't needed. <laughs> That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. 
Freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. <laughs> sure you did. Oh. All right. I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Because I'd be taking care of him. Oh no. Look up there. Oh. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go. Draw them off. Alright, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Okay, come here, Buffies. <laughs> Our to distract uh, them. Keep them off us. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Away from me. <laughs> 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 Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. You have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, Thanks now this. <laughs> Got a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Story-wise, it's good. Um, haven't so right really had much for a bit. to Got really to do much. Don't want to leave the trail so, right back to camp. In terms you of... Know? We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. Feeling so, stuff, I can't really leaves, say starving. whether I like it or not Damn yet. Here, getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings ah, up there? I went the wrong way. That's where we can't. Nearly there. Some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Mm, here we go. There we go. Oh. Ay, oh. careful. It's your ties. It's his leg. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. 
this is a new low, <laughs> even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. you. Got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. <laughs> the west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Into civilization. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Early the spring I Sorry. had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. Can I look at this book? You no, doubt. I can't. Not doubtful, just worried. Starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. <laughs> we were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need some meat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. All righty. Charles, I'm okay. Apart from this hand, a stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. 
Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. All of a sudden, five the minutes in, we have to too. fucking That's fight good. for our life. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> Trying to deer been here. And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? <laughs> Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Come on. Yeah. Grab that. This. Long arms. Shit. Wrong button. There we go. Pull off the horse. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. The lie. There. easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. I'm sure you can help find mice, though. That bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Take the shot. Or no fucking stamina. Install the reinstall this game. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Um, it's the satchel button.
and peaches. There we go. Pulling the bow takes stamina. Yep. Two seconds. I think that's all we can do. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine if you get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Fucking horse, get over here. <laughs> the fuck? Come on, throw that deer and let's go. I'm trying. Not bad, boy. Yeah, good boy. That button. Having fun with the whistle? Uh, it was the fact that I yeah. was waiting for the horse and it was taking too long, so I got impatient. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Oh. Yeah. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> yeah, not wrong. You've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They 
going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We we'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too, but not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Hmm. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Comb, and Dutch go way back. No worries, Not Shuggy. A good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. <laughs> I like how it gives you the option to shoot the bear if you want to. <laughs> Alive. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. You want me I to move know. on? <laughs> I just you want me out of here? Could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. <laughs> John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Christ, there's so much story. I How's don't even want to like. He's all right. He'll do for now. I don't even want to like talk you over it. Let me take time with the other night. 
She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Hugged me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys! <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the boat proper. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. I found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Oh, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, <laughs> shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> <laughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. He wouldn't let me do anything else with it. Fuck off. <laughs> Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make the legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. <laughs> Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Let's make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> You're all right, boy. All right, boy. Bye, horsey. Help with you, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb. And you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Yes. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. I fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> uh. <laughs> feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching I each don't. other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around, wait for him to come find us? 
All of you. We got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Colm O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this store of their Dodge voice crack. <laughs> I, I figured there the wouldn't be any spoiler show. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon. That's enough. a very pretty That's screenshot, Joe. I remember you Damn showing right, me that boss. here a long time ago. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. gentlemen this is it are we goddamn ready ready Dutch good now mr. Morgan and I we're gonna head up here a little see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp mr. Williamson mr. Bell you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp mr. Summers mr. Escuela you two hold position here Let's go. Oh, that's too bad, show. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him.
Oh shit. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. <laughs> they leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. Sure thing. Shit, hit the wrong button again. Let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Micah and Bill. Like you said, <laughs> One screenshots. is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our yes. needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards <sighs> down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Watch out. This bit's steep. That's pretty. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Da 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 <laughs> Stay low. Come on, follow me. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. If you want to take the lead, go. We 
We don't have time to debate this. Okay, fine. You make the move. I wouldn't have done. Better than that much cost for picking his teeth off. Kill every last one of these bastards! Okay, so it's probably not necessary. Yeah. I'm not trying for headshots. I'm just trying to keep within. Sniper? No. We can from them. You recognize any of that duck? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Cole doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Well, hello, hat. <laughs> Money, money, money.
fuck, wrong button. Uh, this one, that one. controls. Yeah, I didn't like that. Really didn't like that because I was still getting used to how to fucking fire and everything. Would have preferred to never use that. <laughs> uh, switch the item wheel. It's like dead eye tonic. Use. Uh, did I use the wrong thing? Yeah, I did. Hello. Alright. Can I just fucking loot now? Arthur, get over here. No. Ugh. What do you want? We're waiting on you, Arthur. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Found them. <clears throat> Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. What do we got here? Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. I wanted right. to loot. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys, all of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know. They will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after No worries, Shell. I oh, uh, will take will. a look when Just the like game gives the me a chance. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. <laughs> All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Yeah, good boy. Uh, 
Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Oh shit, hit the wrong button. You got the wrong feller! Oh no, you don't! <laughs> ah, shit! No! You're coming with me. Please don't! Let's go for a ride. Ah. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? <laughs> it's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna lie. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! his hat the fuck <laughs> as long as daddy has his don't hat do we don't Please. care I i'm no use to you you better shut your mouth you little shit or i will shut it for you That's funny. Almost as dark as light soul. Lighter than Here that. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. <laughs> you found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> and it restarts the mission? Oh, that oh, sucks. No, now all we'll <laughs> get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. 
I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Never been on a train. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still <laughs> here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sugar dealer, oil man. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train uh, to rob! <laughs> Dutch losing his voice, that's great. Get Everyone your horse is ready! <laughs> Alright, let's head out! Ah. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscoll, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for the Outriders. How's that hand, by the Watch way? Watch out! I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill <laughs> blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride!
Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place hey. will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. Easy. Yeah. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Boy. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute now. Interesting. <laughs> Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Kaboom! Click, 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 click. click. You've got to be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So it's my oh, fault. Come on! So it's my thick. fault. You know that? Uh. <laughs> Here we go! Stop here! 
Should we move up? the wrong button, it's fine. Good shoot, kid. I can see now why the old Driscoll's brought so many boys You're up here. You're too all right. 
Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. <laughs> Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. All right. We don't want Give me two seconds. My controller is wrapped around my chair. And the reason I don't like using a controller is the fucking cable is so goddamn long. And I've got no room to fucking use it. There we go. Oh, that's better. Get on up there. Search that train. <sighs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. Uh, Let's see if we can get this open. Read letters to Cornwall from Leyland Oil Development Company. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are... You had to receive payment of few thousand for the initial phase of exploration ah. at the Indian there. Reservation. See? That's how it's done. Marino has Shit. agreed to the contract between Cornwall. Well, I don't think so. Development date nineteen eighteen ninety eight. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Uh, on receipts of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three Railroad of the project and present you with a invoices, detailed report blah, of our findings blah, within blah. the month. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> All the I'm things are stuff boat, now. Sir, <laughs> something. Scar. All the drawers and cabinets. Pocket watch. Yeah. I'm a fucking getting there, guys. God damn. Any luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. Well, let's keep looking. Is it just me, or is this, like, very, very, like, quick and pushy, rather than just allowing you to easily These do things? These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? Listen, calls are different. <sighs> well, keep looking. There must be something. A little bit pushy, yeah.
Thank you, Shu. Of how that cabinet only had a single cigar, 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 cigar. <laughs> yeah, only a single cigar. Chug, 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 chug. chug. <laughs> hey, oh, what's this? Some. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> I'm super pretty high to sort of decide to relax for a bit. Yeah, the, uh, uh, excuse me, the, um, nice, another bill stack. Are you done in there? 25 bucks. Nice. Spec card. Ooh. Let's hurry this along now. Shut up. <laughs> Just waiting on you, Arthur. Shut up. <laughs> General Goblin going mental. <laughs> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's oh. up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Well, chat, what do you think? Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. I said quick. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Oh! I did not actually mean to do that, no. No, don't pick up the guard.
Oh, we can't actually play it. That's sad. Nothing. Okay. No, don't pick up the guard. Shoot the piano. Drop of the body sounds so funny. Nothing. Oops. You can kind of hear it. The uh, the shots are almost louder. Oh, uh, Bokeg, by the way, we are supposed to get, um, or we're supposed to be able to see the, um, the Aurora Borealis come Wednesday and Thursday. I'm gonna pick up this card and get it out of my way so I can pick up whatever is there. I did get to see him the other, um, couple of weeks ago. Couple of weeks ago? Wrong. Um, couple of months ago. Um, they were here and I only got to see a little bit of it. It was the first time I had ever actually seen them, though, so... 61 cents. Anything in here? Oh, that what? Twenty five cents. Nice. Got to be up. And go up. Nope. I gotta go from here. This camera is mainly used for meme creation. Yeah, I. I definitely like taking pictures. Um, I'd love to have a, like, proper, like, um, like, fancy DSLR camera um, at some point in my life. Yeah, that's fair. Let's 
go get the other bodies. I'm broken, don't like traveling that much. See, if you're lucky and you can get the northern lights in your area, so long as you're in, like, out of town and away from as much light pollution as possible, you'd be able to see them. Where I live in town, so light pollution is still very much a... <clears throat> very much a thing here. No, not air pollution, light pollution. Basically going out in the country. There we go, almost everyone is looted now. That's it. That looks like it. There's still two live corpses with loot on them. But if it's going to affect um if it's going to affect how i am perceived i don't know if i really want to do that
same folder as 20 gigs, I have a problem. <laughs> Put that book away and go help. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine's. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. <laughs> you can buy me a whiskey. Shogi, you get some sleep and I will uh, talk to you later. so useless after all. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on. Let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Thank you, Show. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So.
Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly, uh, unpleasant Affle. about it. Unpleasant? Not How do you really what I wanted, but that's fine. We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. <laughs> Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <coughs> so, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Hey, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws. Working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. <laughs> this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Very peaceful this is at the moment. A lot better than just being fucking snow blind. There 
there you are, brother. Head in there. Just follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Here we are. Perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolation. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That <laughs> seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now, the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Chapter 2, Horse Overlook, or Horseshoe Overlook. Couple weeks later. Got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Mr. O, hi. Better. His eyes are sparkling once more. And I can Hope see you are having a, a good clearer. week so far. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur. Jose.
Quite a day. Howdy. Let's <laughs> hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You gain or lose weight is shown. Here we go. Morning, Arthur. Oh, you can use give us a descent into the facial layer. Expect. A niece Morgan. It must have been his wife.
Oh, the five percent of the story so far. That's great. But I think I am going to leave it here because it is coming to 530 and I need to eat dinner. Uh, oh, goodness. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, thank you for the, the resubs. I appreciate you and I will see you back here tomorrow. If you uh, are available anyways. Anyways, have a good night, guys, and I will see you later.